Hello everyone. Today we will be understanding how to create a watch list or a market watch and how to add different segment scripts in the same. Let's start. To create a market watch or a watch list, click on the market option and then click on groups. Enter the group name that you would like the group to be called as. I will be entering a random as ABCD. Then click on add group. And once the group is created, you will be able to see a new tab named with the same name as the group name that you had entered, as well as a tab here with your entered group name. Under groups, you can also see that there are default groups. Such as NSE and others. By clicking on any of the group names, such as Nifty 50, you will be able to see all stocks listed in the Nifty 50 segment. This is also known as predefined market watch. To exit this screen, you can click on click close and then you can close this. And you are back to the group that you had created. Now to add any script to this newly created group, you will be using the script bar. To add a script, you will be required to enter few details such as exchange, the instrument type, symbol. You can choose any of the exchanges mentioned NSE for equity stocks listed in NSE, NFO, futures and options stock index listed in NSE, CDS, currency FNO stocks listed in NSE, BSC, equity stocks listed in BSC, MCX, commodity stocks traded in MCX, BFO, futures and options stock index listed in BSC, and BCD. Currency FNO stocks listed in BN, BSE. Let's add one stock from the NSE equity segment. To add stocks of the NSE equity segment, select NSE as the exchange, click on instrument and select the type that you would like. I will be adding an EQ stock, hence I am clicking on EQ. And under symbol, Type in the stock name. You will be able to see the required stock and select the one that you want to add. After you select the one, the company name will automatically get updated. And once done, click on enter. When you click on enter, the stock will be added to your newly created group. Let's add a stock of the future and option segment. To do so, click on exchange and select NFO. Select an instrument type that you would like. I am I'm going to select FUTIDX. This is used for future indices. You can select FUTSK, STK for adding future stocks. OPT IDX for adding options indices and OPT STK for adding option stocks. Under symbol, type in the stock name. And select the expiry date. Then click on enter and this stock will be added to your created group. Now let's add a stock of the MCX commodity segment. To do so, select MCX in the exchange. Under instrument type, select the one that you would like. I am going to go with COM. You can also select FUTCOM, which is for futures commodity. OPT FUT, which is for options commodity.
under symbol, type in the stock name and click enter to add it. As you can see, all the three stocks have been added to the group that I created. You can also check the current moment of the set script by double clicking on the name of the script or using the shortcut key of F6. This will take you to the snap quote of the selected script. Here, you can see the top five buyers and sellers rate, the LTP, which is the last traded price, open high, low, and other required details. To view the chart of a required script, right click on the script and click on web charts. You will be able to see the web chart You can also use the shortcut key shift plus C. Now let's have a look at the other options available under the market tab. Groups as shown can be used to create a newly group or modify an existing group. Spot rate will give you the information about the spot index. Index watch will list all of the indices in the different exchanges. Snap code will provide the snap code for the selected script, which can also be done by double clicking on the script as shown before. Option chain. Once you click on option chain, a new tab will open. You can select the exchange that you would like. I am going to select it as NFO and type in the stock name. This will give you information of the selected index. The next option is top N. This will give you information on market movers based on gainer and losers as selected. Market status will give you information about different exchanges status, whether they are open or closed for trading. Script alert can be used to create an alert for any script. This alert will be sent through SMS or email, whichever is selected at the time of creating. To create a script alert, you can enter the desired exchange along with your stock name and choose where you want to get the alert. Alert window will give you information on all the script alerts created, which you can modify or cancel. VWAP, and when you click on VWAP, a new tab will occur. Here, you can check the price movement of any script selected within the time interval between 1 minute to 240 minute. You can obviously modify by changing the exchange to your desired requirement and entering the stock that you want to see. That's it for today's video. Hope this was helpful and thank you so much for watching.